We die because we do not have hope. Because hope is the anchor of our soul. Do you know how many people are sick today because what they are waiting for is not coming? You know, hopelessness is a disease. It is the thing that causes you to give up before you even start fighting. Hopelessness is the thing that they call you for an interview and you won't go because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe you'll get that job. Hopelessness is the thing that causes you to throw in a towel and say, I'm done. You have refused to keep hoping. You go on there preaching faith, 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 but you can't see the actual manifestation. What do you do when the thing you're believing God for is not coming in the time that you want? You hope. You keep hoping. You keep waiting. Patient with composure. You wait because your anchor, your confidence is in the word. And you know one thing that the Lord will never lie. That is the confidence you have because you know that this God will not lie. Whatever he said in his word, he will do. So that is how you're able to hope every day. So when you're hoping, you have to have a positive attitude. You have to renew your mind. Don't die. He came that we may have life. Keep hoping. Keep making those monthly payments. Keep doing that. Keep fighting. Don't give up. Ugandans don't like to fight. I keep telling you guys that because I, I, the, the, when you go to America and you see how people do things, it's a life of fighting. You go get a job, they tell you that you don't, you don't qualify. You say, but I think I could. You insist until you get it. So you get up and you keep doing what you have to do. Don't sit on your blessed assurance, young people. Women, don't dream again. The Bible says to the living, there is hope.